Stop for a moment and think. How do you measure the impact of music on your life? Those moments of inspiration, comfort, and insight. There's nothing like hearing it live. But what if your world was defined by walls and you couldn't experience live music? Hello, I'm Julie Andrews. I know how inspiring it is to perform live and I've seen firsthand the healing power of live music. That's why I'm a supporter of Music for All Seasons. They bring live, interactive musical performances to people who are confined due to health, age, poverty, incarceration, domestic violence, people who have no chance to experience what we take for granted. Well, I think Music for All Seasons really represents the, the values that I that, that I have, the importance of music, music as a healing agent, um, the importance of music for all people, and it also has the type of community, the outreach, grassroots kind of concern for those who have been forgotten, or, or those who are underserved. And uh, when others forget, we remember. And when I came in, I was so happy to see her sitting in the chair there and listening to this wonderful music. She doesn't respond to much anymore, but I could see her. I could see her eyes smiling. I could see her hands moving, her feet jiggling a little bit. So she really was enjoying the music. I think it means a lot to my sister. It sure brings back an awful lot of memories if there are any left. Well, it's great to see the patients, the, the residents here. They're, they're relieved for even just an hour of their daily burdens and, and what they're going through at that moment in time and they're, they're brought back, I would imagine they're brought back to a happier place in their life. And the music is wonderful, they, they tap their feet, they could see one patient today actually smiled the whole time, you know, the whole hour, so it was nice, it was nice. Our programs are interactive. They're not simply a musician standing in front of a group of people playing. They talk to the, the audience. They involve them when they can. One old fellow named Charlie who hobbled in using a cane sat down in his chair. He was 95 years old and when the music started he got up out of his chair and didn't need his cane anymore. He used his cane as a prop. <laughs> we were also really surprised to learn how much of a powerful emotional impact this was having on, on the performers as well as those listening. It's about refreshment of the soul. So it's refreshment for their souls, for the staff soul. You saw how everyone was kind of relaxed. It just kind of is this equalizer. And for us, it just, it just reminds me of, of, of how much fun it can be to make music. One of the most moving things for me is to be able to step in and out of so many worlds. It's so easy to get caught up in your day-to-day -day existence in your day-to-day -day world, but the opportunity to be inside so many different worlds and, and experience so many things that people go through and the impact that music has on their life, uh, that's been one of the most profound things for me as a performer for music for all seasons. 
My dear friend Dudley Moore, who was a wonderful pianist, believed deeply in the mission of Music for All Seasons, and he asked me to participate in his vision, which I'm glad to do. Dudley led the advisory board of Music for All Seasons from 1991 until his death in 2002. Later in Dudley's life, when he was struggling with progressive supranuclear palsy, music is what kept him going. And it was really touching to know that he had helped so many people in our organization for so many years. And when it came to the last few years of his life, music is what helped him get through. Music for All Seasons has really three aspects to its mission. The first aspect was to bring music of the highest quality into facilities and institutions of all kinds, to involve young musicians who were beginning their careers to bring them into facilities, to raise the awareness of musicians of the fact that audiences don't just happen in concert halls. And finally, the third aspect was the importance of disseminating the concept of music as a healthful and beneficial aspect of all of our lives. I think what the field of neuroimmunology points out is that there is a connection between the spiritual and the physical. Of course, we know that there is, but it, it really emphasizes how mind-body interactions occur. I feel something inside of me, like, make you happy. I always like listening to music. It's one of my pastimes, listening to music. And I enjoy when they sing the, the, the instruments come. I love it. I see a lot of smiles and a lot of clapping and a lot of enthusiasm. I think everyone looks forward to these programs. Uh, they do contribute a lot to the quality of our programs here. It makes the staff feel good, like we're making them feel peaceful and comfortable. And, and the music helps in their healing process, you know. It only makes us wish they could have concerts every day. So won't you please join me in bringing the wonder of music to so many people who truly need it with music for all seasons, professional performances for hope and healing. <laughs>